Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. Welcome to Drinking Bros. Fake news. Again, that is Hans Zimmer, who does the opening song for us. Yeah. And he, well, he, he, <laughs> he, uh, he contracted it. Uh, for those of you watching this on YouTube right now, it looks like I'm talking to two Dan's here. Yeah, that's, this is uh, my Yeah, clone. this is a... Well, that's not going to work. work. <laughs> <laughs> if you can see this at home right now, Jesse's mm. got a cardboard cutout head of Dan. This is just this coffee is shit. <laughs> <laughs> She's just protesting the fact that her face isn't on the, yeah. the logo. I actually do want my face on this but in like the nostril really yeah. really small really tiny i'm yeah. gonna yeah. put you right in peeking the out of it i'm gonna put you in the pupil <laughs> yeah of my just eye. like <laughs> coming out of the nostril it's gonna be like pointillism you know where a bunch of smaller pictures make yeah, larger yeah, yeah. Pictures and, oh. and you're, but it's gonna be just me and then one pointillist picture of you that you need a microscope to see like an <laughs> 80s sitcom yes where you know you're looking trying to find the sailboat inside the fucking yep i never saw those pictures man Never uh, the magic eye stuff. Yeah. What does that say you're, about you're talking you? about? You're talking about mall rats there. Yeah. I, I'm talking about mall rats, and I'm talking about the the first Dave Matthews album they did that, and you know, obviously as, as a kid, that was a big one. It was on the cover of the album. Correct, and it was supposed to be a, you're supposed to see a peace sign on it. What did you see? I didn't see. I've never seen anything but just green shit. It just looks like you know. I think that's a patience thing. What do you think? Yeah. What? Um, what is, psychologically, do you know the answer to that? I don't know. I mean, it's, I'm surprised. It, it that's ha- the first thing you don't know. It has something to do with binocular vision, right? Like, there's a point out in front of your face where both eyes are focal at the same time, focus at the same time, mm-hmm. and then like there's blind spots in there and shit. I'm sure that's part of it. And I think probably IQ, right? Don't you think? Oh, man. Don't try to sneak in subtle digs at his intelligence with me. I know you guys are on the rocks, but don't use me as a fucking prop, (laughs) Jesse. But yeah, he's Drink done. up, Dan. I am really smart, Jesse, and I will not be talked to like that. <laughs> I will not be talked to like that. This is a serious news show we are hosting. Sorry. We're doing the news for the world the only way that they will get the correct information or incorrect because we, we, don't we care. really don't know. No, we, no. Don't. We, we don't. We know. Check. We just don't care. And we, yeah. get so, a, we get a call from our ad agency bitching mm-hmm. about us reading at. They said, hey, you guys are going to be a real news team. Yeah, you better read an ad between stories like real news. And I was like, Mm. don't you fucking test me because I will (laughs) goddamn do that. And you're not going to be happy with those results. We're trying something new today. We had a we had a super serious show yesterday with Graham Allen. We did. Yeah. Uh, And it's uh, people are enjoying it. I hope I hope it adds to the conversation and doesn't stop people from talking. I hope that's the the goal. But anyways, we're going to do something a little different today and get a little weird. Yeah. So ah, we we always do. Yeah, we always do. This this show, by the way, was kind of a happy accident. You invented it, and we just kind of just started doing it, and and people like it, so we just keep fucking doing it. Yeah, we. I think we knew, uh, in the beginning, like Evan really wanted to do this too when he was still on the show because uh-huh. he just likes talking about topical shit. Yeah, but we knew I think that it was gonna do well because people like hearing about stupid bullshit and then fucked up shit jared's out of town he's in the middle of fucking idaho with no cell service right now so unfortunately he's not on a day he will be back yes he'll be back next week next week or the week i I I forget those guys go on whitewater rafting trips that last a lifetime yeah i I think this one's only four days oh (laughs) oh is it but we'll see where's he going after (laughs) we'll see you know where he's going i think he's going to do something with travis pastrana and fucking uh salt lake city oh that'll be fun yeah for him i mean if he doesn't die usually if he if he hangs out with Travis in a normal location, it usually goes pretty well. But if he goes to Maryland to his to Pastrana land, it does not end well. Often he comes back with back and neck injuries. Yes, <laughs> so, yes. No, and that's 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 real. The truth, yeah, we'll that see is what happens. Absolutely real. Yeah. Like sometime in late 2017, he couldn't move his neck for like a month and a half. I'm yeah, like, dude, you're all right. He goes, yeah, I'm good. I'm like. I- it do- doesn't look good. No, it doesn't <laughs> doesn't look good. One, two. I don't know how Travis is still alive. I, no one knows. And because yeah. the, the rest of his buddies, yeah, you know, a lot of them have been on the show. They're all fucked up. Like Tommy doesn't even do stunts anymore. Can't. Yeah. Can't do stunts. Those yeah. guys get all fucked up doing that shit. Um, but today, the only uh, fucked up thing we're going to talk about is the fake news. Yeah, this is all this stuff is totally real that we're about to say. It is real. But it could also not be real. Uh, first up, mysterious objects spotted in the background of an ISS feed 
Then NASA cut the live feed. Yeah, this is the International Space Station. Correct. Right? So there's a live feed on the ISS all the time. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and I don't know when this happened. I think it may have been a few years ago, actually. But they somebody finally analyzed all the footage. And you can see this, uh, this image. And it almost looks like, it doesn't look like, quote unquote, space junk. It doesn't look like a satellite. And it's not round like a celestial body usually is. Like if it was, if it was debris from a rocket or something like that. Mm -hmm. Usually they have a particular shape. It had some weird like W or M shape to it and then points of light on it. It was super weird. And then all of a sudden the leave, the feed goes blue. Yeah. And they cut it. Yeah. Whew. What are they hiding is what I want. Uh, James, you want to, you want to tell them what, what they're hiding? <laughs> what? Aliens, brother. No. There's a guy out there no. that thinks uh, a, a guy, there's a, there's a, <laughs> a scientist out there who believes that, there are spacecraft that regularly visit the International Space Station to check up on what uh, the human race is up to. Nope. Yep. Yeah. Uh -uh. Yeah. I'm all in on this. I'm all in. I, 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 I believe that's true. And the more and more, again, I've said this before and I'll say it again, the more and more that footage keeps coming back from all these other planets yeah. uh, that, that, they're, that are out there, um, you know, these, these other Earths is what they're, they're calling them. Where yeah. it's identical to Earth. But Exoplanets. It's, yeah, yeah, we can't reach them for 20 years. And I know Facebook has sent cameras and things out there already yeah. um, to, to get the footage. I, yes, I think that's totally real. Because if I, I look at it this way, if, if we were evolved and we knew there was other planets out there, our government would be sending shit to check up on these planets all the time to make sure they weren't going to do any shit. Yeah, I mean, it's, just, it's intergalactic espionage. Is yeah. What it is. So look, I don't know oh, why you're laughing. She can't do it. She I don't know why you're laughing. It's just serious it. shit. Intergalactic espionage. Yeah, it's just inf it's intelligence <laughs> yes. collection. Yeah, is all it is. Anyways, <laughs> uh, forget about this naysayer over here. The human race, <laughs> as it is genetically right now, is about 180 to 250 thousand years old, something like that. Yeah, give or take. Yeah, give or take. Uh, we don't know really, but something like that. The technological age, we're about what 150 years into it. Mm -hmm. Harnessing electricity happened very recently. You know, uh, well, for the planet, yes, yeah, yeah. So, these other civilizations that are closer are older than we are. That are, uh, it's hard to explain because space time all expands at the same time. There's no center of the universe. We're all where we always were after inflation happened, and we're just getting further apart. Yeah. However, relax. Yeah. <laughs> relax. So <laughs> she's looking at the center I'm of the just universe. Listening. You know. I'm just listening. There are civilizations out there that are probably in the billions of years old, right? I, th so I think I, about, I believe so. No, I it's not about belief or not. That is that is very very likely. Like it's it would be super unlikely that that's not the case, right? But, but when you say the word likely, it mm -hmm. means it, it, there's one a, way or the other. We don't have evidence yet. No, not yet. But I mean, we have ontological evidence. Like it's it makes sense that that would be the case, and it would require some. Like we know even about uh, humanity on Earth. Our, we're in a, we have a, a yellow star that's uh, a main sequence star, and it's going to be around for another several billion years. So that's what the habitable zone means, a main sequence star that provides enough sunlight to create liquid water on the surface. Right. That's what it means. <clears throat> Excuse me. So there are civilizations out there that should be, quote unquote, should be. Should be, be yeah. In the billions of years old, you're telling me that they haven't figured out how to warp space time yet? Like, if, if you can create enough gravity, you can warp space time and travel faster than light. That's an Einstein Rosen bridge. There's all kinds of fucking shit out there. Yeah. So there's no reason that they wouldn't be like, we have no way of conceiving of this shit. No. What kind of technology they may have. So forget, I, I forget like, about these heathens. I like how Jesse's giving you the Biden look, mm -hmm. uh, the Biden to Kamala Harris look. Where it's just she's a straight on <laughs> while you're trying to talk. Right? <laughs> no. And all of that. It's cool. Yeah, yeah. She, you don't believe in any of this stuff because you haven't seen it, right? You believe that again. My brain. I do believe they exist. I don't believe that they have been here once. Not one single time. No. Uh, uh, Why? No. When were you? When because were, when I your, don't your think, brain. By the way, and again, my brain is also a lot smaller. I, mean, I think women's brains are right. They're two, <laughs> they're two thirds the size of a man. Yeah. So I just don't have the capacity to even fathom 
any of that. I my brain literally when you start talking about all that stuff, it shuts down. <laughs> um, a and then B. Well, I think I already said A and B and then three. Uh, <laughs> a, B, and three is how it goes. I think. So there's. Um, but I think that I think it's stupid to think that there isn't exactly what you're saying. Yeah. Some kind of civilization civilization somewhere else. I just do not believe that they have been here yet because. I just don't think that we are trusted to not completely tell everyone that. Well, yeah, like I you're, don't you're, think you're, that we as a you're, you're presuming presuming that we would know that they've been here. Like I'm not saying that an alien spacecraft has landed and fucking and there's an alien that they're keeping fucking hostage at the Area 51. Well, is look, that what you're saying? I don't know if there is or not, but if there if there is one there, we're gonna fuck. You're it. obviously clapping yeah. cheeks, but yeah, that's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about alien life being somewhere in the proximity of Earth. I think it's likely that that's and happened. you think they would have been in the proximity but not landed i think they could have been in the proximity and we wouldn't know about it because of and advanced that's technology. convenient it is convenient yeah you're right for all of it that's true so it, it, it's fine uh by the way a fun fact yesterday uh bernie sanders was on joe rogan yeah and bernie sanders says if elected is joe rogan pressed him on it yeah. if elected will you tell us if there's aliens and he goes yeah i will oh god i will tell but here's the other thing i if thought you're trump saying- would have done that yeah. You're saying, wouldn't we go and if we could we check up? We absolutely would, yes. Don't you think, can you see us going and checking up and not landing and fucking trying to check shit out? I'm not saying they haven't landed. I'm saying we, we're not aware of their presence. Look, we, we do intelligence operations under the radar all the time, all over the world, always. We're doing okay. them in space right now. Right. So not like on other planets, but we're looking at yeah, other yeah, countries yeah. from space right now. So yeah, of course we're doing that. Like they could have put... And Sat- not landing and not trying to take over some shit. Why would they want to take this shit over? It's the same reason that we wouldn't want to take over fucking North Korea. Because then you got to right. govern that bitch. Yeah, Fuck yeah. that. It's too like much work. Yeah. It's True. too much work. No, it's just intellectual curiosity and to see if we're a threat. We're clearly not. We're too technologically limited to be a threat to anybody outside of our solar system. I can't wait till Jesse wakes up in the middle of the night. I know. A, a, the swings, Look, me neither. The I swing want- on our child's playground in the backyard. And she's like, hey, are the, are the kids in bed? Because it sounds like there's somebody outside on the swing. I go and check on the kids, and then I go out to the backyard, and there's just an alien enjoying a nice swing in the middle of the night. I want that, too. <laughs> I, want, I want actual hard evidence that my brain can Handle. process. Yeah. Do you know Look, what I mean? There's... Because this other thing of, like, you don't know. They come, but nobody's seen them. Only crazy people, blah, blah, blah. That's well, not well, working I, for me. I'm sorry, let me stop right there. We also can't see neutrinos or a Higgs boson particle, but we know they exist. Obviously, and I know all of what you just said. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's Neutrino is a massless particle you that bet. travels through uh, blah, blah, nah, blah. No, you <laughs> bet. You bet. Absolutely. Higgs um, boson is the uh, particle that gives everything mass. I just said I know all of it. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Damn. So, Jesus um, Christ. It's like, and now you're explaining Listen, it again. Listen, so she like, owns it in hardback. There are 40 billion habitable planets in the Milky Way. I believe alone. it. Alone. I know that. And there's it's two not about tri- believing. There's two trillion additional galaxies in the known universe. Absolutely. My brain, a little bit, part of it just shut down when you said that. But I'm trying to open it back up. <laughs> I can't up. do that math either. <laughs> honestly. I'm trying to open it back up to keep an open mind right and a man mind here's here so here's why the government will never release this is because of people like jesse because my i can't handle no it. and i don't think american i, I think 99 percent of americans no, I, couldn't handle the knowledge of something like that because it would drive too much fear into their day-to-day life one two it would completely nuke their religion that, because if, that part true the first part i don't agree with so you think people? I think you give people too much credit. No, I think for people yeah, are smart. fucking dumb as shit. So, okay. do I. however, they're super good at rallying against a common enemy, and all we have to do is say, "Hey, we know for a fact aliens exist, and they might be a threat. We need to come together as a planet and do something about it." That would immediately improve the state of our planet. Yeah, but Overnight. Tom DeLonge has been saying that for for a long time. Tom DeLonge is a fucking retard. <laughs> no, he's the lead singer of <laughs> Blink One Eighty Two. Yeah, he I, told us that the government has chosen him this. to. To, yeah, to be yeah, the, no, I got it. I yeah. got, I know what he said. Yeah, I, what I said stands. He is a retard. Well, uh, he's also the lead singer of Blink One Eighty Two, wow. so we it's should. Interesting that you would say take that. Take him more seriously, <laughs> Dan. Yeah, yeah. With his degrees Whoa. in uh, smoking weed and <laughs> eating Cheetos tells a lot about your character, Dan. <laughs> you know what's really important? 
What's that? Is uh, the Drinky Bros Cruise. Ah. Oh. God damn it, man. I can't wait. I, I post somebody better than him. Danny Warstop. Yes. I know. Will be on the cruise with us. He will, yeah. Yeah. Um, one of the best in the biz, by the way. Yeah. Got to hang out with him. You guys probably heard this episode. Did an interview with him live in Akron, Ohio. We happen to be in Ohio at the same time. Yeah. You were there for a baseball game, right? No. A friend of mine has got cancer. Oh, that's right. So he's doing cancer treatments at the, uh, the Cleveland, that Mayo Clinic up there. Yeah. And so afterwards, it, it took him to a baseball game, the Indians game after the, uh, the treatments. Um, and Danny hit me up and was just like, hey, man. I'm in Akron. Why don't you pop on down? And uh, so I went down, got to interview him. Uh, that was the first time I got to see him do acoustic shit live. Yeah, he's really good acoustic. Yeah, because we we had done another sh- another gig with him. Yeah, down in uh, Jacksonville. But because asking Alexander, he's a fucking heavy metal band. Yeah. I did not know that he was also an acoustic. I think he actually likes singer. doing the acoustic stuff more. That's what I've heard. Uh, he likes doing both. Look, they're both completely, totally different. Mm-hmm. He's just so fucking talented that. It, it wouldn't matter if he was doing nah. acoustic or metal. I, nah, I, I love all of it all the way around. And yes, he will be on the cruise. You can uh, go to drinkingbros.com and get in on that cruise. It's in a month. Um, the, the only reason we're saying this is a bunch of people got deployed with uh, yeah. Iran's <laughs> fuckery. So there is some spots available. Yeah. Uh, go, to, go to drinkingbros.com. The cruise is the 12th to the 17th. Leaves out of Galveston, 16. Texas. Uh, 16. 12 through 16. 12 to 16, yeah. Yeah, so uh, the re- there's two reasons I brought up. One was that there's mm-hmm. still tickets available. We, we want you guys to come hang out with us. The yeah. second reason is that several drinking bros have brought up a really good point, and that is that the cruise is technically about two and a half weeks before ass eating starts, and they've asked. Ah. Yeah. Uh, they've asked. They've asked for a special dispensation. Yep. <laughs> To start ass eating season earlier, and I can't remember who it was, but somebody DM'd me, and, and they came up with the idea. I don't want to take credit for this idea because I think it's brilliant. Sure. But it's the ass eating preseason. Ah. Oh. So you don't, you're, you're more careful. You don't want to risk injury. Correct. Right? You don't keep your starters in the whole game. Yo, you definitely don't. But you definitely play the four games. You have to. So, you have to. So uh, for those of you who are, aren't familiar with ass eating season, the dates of it, it's October 1st. Through May first, obviously. That's right, yeah. And, and it's because of temperature and humidity. And temperature like and humidity that. have a lot to do with yeah. it. He's got a great point though. Uh, you're in international waters. We are all together. And if you want to eat ass on the cruise and it's with others who listen to the show, yes, that is a place to do it and we will allow it. Here's what I we would will say. Allow it. Yeah, we're we're gonna we we've actually been talking about this for two weeks now. Yep. We're going to allow it before Cozumel. Yes. After Mexico, I don't ever <laughs> no. Yep. Because we we dock we dock in Mexico. Just want to say it yeah. is not allowed after that. Mm. So you do not mm. want to eat ass. Listen at your own after risk. Taco Tuesday. Right. Well, at we're your not own ex- risk we're not accepting any of the responsibility for any of this shit. No. However, definitely don't eat ass after you take a trip, a day trip to Mexico. To Mexico. That's yeah. Just, that's Yikes. bad news for everybody. Because yeah. here's what happens: you end up getting drunk at the bars, and then you're going after street meat. Yes. Down right. in Mexico, which. It's probably some form of cat or dog. Yes. Good, good shot of that, good right? Good shot, yeah. Then you, you get back on the cruise, maybe even hanging out with someone, you know, uh, on that day trip in Cozumel. You know, somebody was bopping you on the head with one of those uh, little clown horns mm-hmm. and then making you do shots, feeding shots in your mouth, yeah. and then shaking your head around. <laughs> you had some street meat. You go back on the boat, and you're like, man, now would be the time to eat ass. You would be incorrect in yeah. that assessment. Yep. You could end up with a whole face and mouth full of shit. Yeah, you don't want that. You mm-hmm. don't want that. And then you're on a cruise. Those, Surprise. Those, those yeah. rooms on the cruise are, are smaller yeah. than a hotel room in mm-hmm. Vegas or something like that. So, yeah. I mean, I usually, if I get dysentery on a cruise, I usually just go to the pool on the top deck. Yeah. And just hang out in the pool. The yeah, and let it, let it flow. Let it's it like brown. A, let yeah, it brown. It's yeah. like a water birth. <laughs> 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 so you may eat ass on the cruise you cannot do it once the boat docks right. in mexico right. because then yeah. all bets are off by the way have your passport if you want to get off and on the fucking boat yeah yeah because that's how it works that's i'm getting mine expedited expedited anyway. yeah 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 renewed it, I already had one. Yeah. Passports last I actually waited. Years. Mine is mine expires in November, but I waited because of the cruise because I just don't trust the government to get shit no, done I know. fast enough. And, and I, I'm I scared a little bit. Yeah. And then what are we going to do about me possibly getting trafficked? 
Jesse's worried about getting sex traffic. I have uh, young features. We're going to try to get the best deal possible. (laughs) (laughs) I believe is how it works, right? So do I just stay on the boat? I'm just really worried because... Pigtails. Yeah, yeah. Do You're saying... Hide in plain sight. You're saying hide in plain sight. I'm You're saying you guys trying... pushed me around in the stroller. No, no, no. I didn't. I'm, I'm miss. I'm, 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 I'm not hearing you right. So you're trying to get sex traffic or trying to avoid getting sex traffic? I'm trying, trying to, to avoid, avoid it. it. Oh, yeah. God, don't wear a fucking pigtails then. That's stupid. Yeah. Obviously, Dan. Uh, obviously, Dan. <laughs> Dan. Well, who even, even, who even look, said that? You. <laughs> make her look younger, Dan. Yeah. Um, oh, sex traffic? Worried about it? Pigtails. She, yeah, Jesse's stroller, worried because she has shorty, younger features. Shorts. Yeah. From far away... I look young. Do you know what I mean? And that's when they're looking. You know you what I mean? You have really good skin. Right. They're going to confuse you for that actress. Uh, what's her name? Christine Applegate? No, the black one. Ah, uh, Octavia Spencer. Yes, Octavia Spencer. <laughs> sure. From a distance. From a distance, yeah. 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 So. Sure. So we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens, but uh, hashtag pray for Jabes. Yeah, pray for Jabes. Pray for Jabes. Uh, let's keep her uh, an American. Yes. Right. Yep. And alive. And American alive. American and alive. Yeah. And because she wants not. to go home mm-hmm. and sleep in a ghost bed from yeah. ghostbed.com. Oh, blammo, blammo. Forward slash drinking bros. Ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros is our chief sponsor. If you're going to be eating ass, do it on a ghost bed. Do it on a fucking ghost bed. Sure Obviously, that on the cruise. Too. I don't think, I don't Ooh, believe. The cooling. Yeah. Get we the need the cooling uh, protective. Yeah. Oh, I, I'm going to bring my, my ghost pillows on the cruise for sure. Like oh, I'll, yeah. I'll be packing them. I don't oh, give a yeah. shit. Yeah. I'm oh, not. Yeah. Look, a lot of people do, by the way. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I can't. I'm not sleeping on some raggedy ass pillow. There's no way. I, look, it's carnival. It's, it's nice. not going to be raggedy. I mean, ass. look, it's, come it's on. It's a really nice ship. Look, if it's not ghost bed, I don't sleep on it. It's not like we're traveling in Captain Ron's boat. You know what I'm saying? We should. Like we're on a really mm. nice that be fun? fuck boat is what I like to call it for that cruise. Uh, and hopefully it'll be stacked full of ghost beds, but I doubt it. I don't believe they would deal with them. No, if uh, somebody gets pregnant, by the way, on the cruise, I'll come to the birth. Ah, will you deliver? Uh, deliver I the child. Deliver. <laughs> blamo, blamo. <My> blamo. <laughs> uh, no, I will not deliver the child. I'm not certified for that, but I will watch and I will. I will give notes. No, I'm not going to give notes. I'm going to watch like it's a fucking sporting event. I'm yeah. going to bring two or three of my buddies. We're going to get drunk as shit. Whenever I watch a live pregnancy, mm-hmm. I'm mm-hmm. I'm the guy who always screams out, "Is it breach? Yeah, is right. it breach? Or you gotta know if it's breach." Or you can act like one of those fans who doesn't really know what's going on. Like the people when whenever hockey first came to the South, I used to go to the Carolina Hurricanes games games a lot. And they're yeah. like, "That's a foul!" I'm like, "There's no fouls in hockey. Shut the fuck up!" <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's foul. what I do. I heckle the doctor. I'm like, "You're not even Indian. Doctor, yeah. Doctors right? are Indian now. <laughs> Don't you know that?" We don't allow whites to be doctors. <laughs> I Why take a st- wang or a habibi, yeah, and that's it. That's it. I only, I'm the same way. I only trust Asian or Indian doctors yeah, on yeah. working on me. I really do. That's, that's where a stereotype can save your life. It's, fuck yeah, it can. And I'm buying into it, brother. Yeah. I want to live forever. I want to live <laughs> oh, forever. No. Okay. Uh-uh. Go What's to ghostbed.com <laughs> forward slash drinking Stop bros that. and sleep forever uh, on a mattress. <laughs> oh, my God. If you're a military or first responder, <laughs> 15% off forever. Scroll down to the bottom of the page, click it, and everything in the store is 15% off. Yeah. Uh, they know that 80% of our listeners are first responders. Or military. Or military. And mm-hmm. uh, they've done that for us. And as always, 36 months, pay as you go program at ghostbed.com. You're actually right about that. Slash drinking bro. You're right about that. When we first started with them, that wasn't the case. But after working with us for a couple of years, they made that 15% off for military and first responders. They did. I, they actually reached out and said, hey, this is an honest story. Uh, this is a true news real quick. Um, they actually reached out and they said, hey, how do we help you? Uh, I, I know the president and uh, like... All the higher ups are all like military families and yeah. all that other stuff. And they're like, hey, how do we help you guys? And I was like, hey, man, if you really want to help out, here's, you know, the percentage mm-hmm. of our listeners. This would be awesome for them. So uh, it'd be great because a mattress is a big ticket item. This this takes about, and you know, 200 bucks off a fucking mattress. So yeah. it's great. Uh, shout out to Ghostbed. Uh, next up, uh, hot story. Study finds a casual link. Causal. Ooh. Ooh. 
A, what? a causal? Causal link, like causation. It's spelled like casual. No, it's not. It's uh, very similar. It's, it is close. Did he yeah. say casual? Yeah, I did. I did. I did. It looked like casual. So do I need to Look, kill I'm myself dumb or are you going to kill over my, my, my <laughs> here? Which, how's it going to go? <laughs> hey, look, Punk. I'm going I'm to live forever. That'll never happen. Uh, a causal link between erectile dysfunction and poor work productivity and quality of life. No shit, right? Yeah. I don't know what... This is like that study that they did to find out that cow farts are adding methane to the... the to the... Like, come yeah, on, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah we, we know. Obviously, that's the case. If you have a, a flaccid penis all day long and can never get hard... Yeah. Yeah, it's going to affect your fucking life, bro. Look, everything that... All of civilization, like the reason we buy all this dumb shit yeah. and work hard yep. to buy cars and houses is because of pussy. That's it. And or if, whatever you're gets your dick up yeah, yeah or buttholes butt or buttholes yeah. or um absolutely save, any other save that legal part. we'll get to that in a second pregnant oh, dogs okay. pregnant anyway dogs. but yeah. yeah whatever gets you Look, off whatever is legal. it which trimester though for the pregnant dog it's, third oh yeah yeah it's gotta I'm be a third it, yeah. you gotta have that belly drag on the carpet i this is why uh you and i before every show yes we talk up yep from the bottom powder up. i don't so don't pull your your talc from the top you don't get the undercarriage. You got to fucking lift the nuts and talc up from the bottom. Correct. Just yeah. that's and get just, it everywhere. That's just I the cup mechanics. It. I cup it. Yep. Yeah, that's like you, my an, you antique your own nutsack. Correct. Basically. Yeah, got it. Yes. So we talc up and then we take Roman before every show. Every single show. Yeah. 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 Yep. And that's that's why we're so happy. It is. Yeah. Well, yeah. I I don't know if I'm happy or not. Everybody. But I'm by the definitely way, erect. that's why he's so happy. <laughs> so inside the Drinking Bros Facebook group, <laughs> yeah. uh, which is private, but anybody can join. So so please. Uh, sign up for Drinking Bros on Facebook. It's a crazy fucking group. One, two. Uh, a lot of people have been buying Roman uh, and getting fucking boners. We and get DMs like every day. Writing their stories. I just yeah. read one yesterday. So funny. Yeah, I uh, saw that one too. So fucking funny, man. <laughs> um, are they are they a sponsor on here? They are yeah. today. Yeah. Uh, here here's here's another piece of information. Uh, the American College of Cardiology found that men who have suffered heart attacks. Uh huh. And as a result of their heart attack, have erectile dysfunction and start taking Roman or uh, other, you know, yeah, ED yeah. drugs. They are at less risk for future heart attacks. Plus, you got a hard dick. So really, that is that's definitive information. How do you think that is? Uh, it just regulates your blood. Is flow. it blood flow? Okay, yeah. 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 So it makes you less prone to heart attack and heart disease, man. It's right. like you got a. I don't see where's the, where's the problem here. You got a big hard dick, and you're not gonna die. You know, I, I think if you stuff it in the wrong place, um, maybe not get stuff permission. your dick or the pill, the dick, right? Uh, you know, because then you're looking for, a, you know, let's say you're single out there, right? Yeah. Not a lot of options going on. Uh, everybody said no to your Tinder request that night. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you, and then you're just sitting around with a huge boner. You'll be fine. You'll yeah. be fine. According to the, the College of Cardiology, your fucking heart is in better shape because of that. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of I, I, I have a feeling a lot of Pornhub. Uh, or X videos is because of that. Don't you think people probably take a pill and then they get on Tinder expecting like, oh shit, I'll be fucking later, right? And then they don't, and then they're like, oh, it's gonna be a long night fighting that one off. Maybe I don't know. I've never done that before, uh, but I'm gonna try it now. <laughs> For sure, that's what I'm doing this weekend. Now. Nobody's turned down D'Anthony. No, it's just that I don't like take. I, I take the pill regularly, anyways. Okay. For yeah. my heart. Oh, yeah, obviously, obviously for for heart reasons. Obviously. Yeah, heart reasons. Yeah. I can see you sliding over to Grinder if, if uh, Look, Tinder isn't working. You John, know? John Johnny B from uh, from uh, what is it? Uh, the prank call show, Jerky Boys. Uh. He used oh. to say that a hole is a hole as long as there's a little heat in there. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, yeah, that's a very broad worldview. The I fact like that. that you just dropped a Jerky Boys reference yeah, on here. Very Damn. current. <laughs> very current. I'm wearing a sequin up with the, the news. Sides. I'm wearing a sequin jacket. I don't know what you expect. <laughs> Anyways, keep your heart and your dick healthy and take Roman. Roman at getroman.com forward slash drinking bros. Yeah. They're our sponsor and everybody's like really surprised. They're like, People Man. love this stuff. They do. I, it's, it's everybody was taking it anyways. I was unaware how much they advertise on ESPN. Mm -hmm. So every night, because of the sports yeah. show, we, we, get a, we get a message that says, hey, man, we saw Roman on ESPN. Yeah, yeah they're fucking huge. I would, I would venture to say they're probably a bit bigger than Viagra now. Probably. I mean, look, they have two big commercial campaigns. One of them is the prostate health thing, which they are also, uh, these pills are also good for prostate health, apparently. Yeah. But the, so Big Poppy, 
David Ortiz is mm-hmm. leading that charge. And mm-hmm. then, the, then the dad and the son who invented Roman are, have a commercial series out as well. So they're all over the fucking place. What are they doing? Yeah. Um, <laughs> the, commercial. the dad had some kind of heart issue of some sort, and the pill was being developed for that. And then the uh, son got involved somehow. I don't know. But it's, again, it's apparently very healthy for you. Huh. Go to GetRoman.com forward slash Drinking Bros today. Get that fucking boner on. Uh, here's the thing. You don't have to go to the doctor. It's discreet. It comes in a package. Your kid's wife don't know. Your mistress will definitely not know. And uh, you, can, you can pogo stick it all fucking weekend long, dude. Tripod, yeah. Yeah. Kickstand. Kickstand. If you're, you're planning on going out there and getting super fucked up, you're worried about falling down, just lean on your dick. Yeah. Lean on me. How much Roman do you think it's going to be on the cruise? Are oh, we going to be I handing will. it out? Boy. That's a really good idea, Jesse. Yeah. Just pop it out or just put it in a, in a huge hunch punch. Yeah, like you know? the fucking condoms used to be at the parties back oh, in the day. Exactly, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just hand out the yeah, Roman and see yeah, what happens. Yeah. That's a really good idea. Is there a lot of ladies going on that cruise? Probably there's, not. I the know. last time we looked, there were more women there than was men more signed women up. Than and men, it's, yeah. it's, look, there's 100,000 people in the group, so we were going to fill up eventually. Yeah. But women are clearly more organized than men are. So they men, yeah. like booked yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. they or, booked it yeah. and arranged with each other to travel there and shit. And the guy's like, oh, just fucking get there. It's not a big deal. Yeah. I'm I'm hoping don't to... leave without <laughs> me. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of leaving without, did you see that Carnival cruise? Uh, or is, no, it was a Caribbean cruise line. Uh, there was a family that got left on the dock as they were leaving. Yeah. And I, don't, I think it was a coincidence. I don't think the guy was taunting them. I think it was part of the whole going away <laughs> thing. But one of the crew members was up on the fucking top deck and he had this giant fake hand and it just said bye on it. And he was waving. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't think he was taunting them. I think it was. It was just what they do every yeah, time. Yeah. I don't leave, either. But, yeah. but it, for those of you who haven't been on a cruise, and let's say this is your first coming up on Drinking Bros Cruise. The boat leaves at that exact second, yeah. and they do not wait for anyone. So no. you're, you're effed. I, my over-under is five. Five people don't Get make left it. in Mexico? Correct. Oh, yes. Yeah, because it almost happened to me once on a cruise. Not in Mexico, I think, at the, the initial takeoff, don't you, you think? Well, here, no, not the initial takeoff. I, I, I think the Mexico one. And again, it, it happened to me, ironically, in Cozumel. We had a waiter because you have these tables and you have the same waiter every night for dinner, right? And uh, we had a Croatian waiter and we go to Cozumel and he, we were like, hey, you know, if you have a night off, we'll take you out. And he was like, oh, yeah, my night's off and it's in Cozumel. I'd, I'd love to hang. It was like, great. Guy goes bug fuck, wasted, making out with like college girls, the whole shit, right? And he's like, I starts declaring everything in his life. And he goes, I fucking hate working for this cruise and I hate doing this shit. He goes, This is a life I should be living. I should be here in Mexico working, enjoying the land and hooking up with tourists. We had to fucking physically carry this guy out of the bar to get him on the boat in time. We made it by (laughs) less than two minutes left to spare. And the guy goes, because we had to turn him over to the fucking, you know, cruise people. And we were like, hey, man, uh, what would have happened? And he goes, we're fucking leaving. And yeah. he goes, that guy, he goes, not, not only would that guy not be able to get back on the cruise, he'd have fly his fucking ass home to Croatia. If, and I was like, whoa, they're serious about it, man. Oh, yeah. So my over under of, of people stuck in Cozumel is going to be five on this cruise. Especially the plans that I'm hearing oh, in yeah. Cozumel yeah. from all different groups. <laughs> I'm like, just get back to the boat, friend. It's only one day, so you don't have that yeah. much time to do that much <laughs> to stuff. Do, but to you get think totally you wasted. Yeah, yeah when you like, get that trash, you're like, ah. Yeah. I'm just going to go try to reverse traffic somebody. Mm, I like that a lot. Yeah. yeah. Who, who do you huh? think, who, who's your target on that? Just Mexicans. <laughs> reverse traffic yeah. yeah like snatch up a mexican bring him back bring here, him back on the but boat not sex traffic and like put him in school and stuff yeah oh, it's okay. reverse trafficking yeah. oh okay okay, yeah. okay yeah i'm gonna like pay for their college the whole thing <laughs> you're gonna adopt a mexican man yeah uh, not i didn't say man but yeah it could be a dude I don't oh know. I it depends see. on who's standing there when i get it would be great if it you, would be a gal if you adopted like a 47 year old mexican man Put him through, or a woman. Put him through vocational school. Yeah. yeah. 
The whole thing. He's in a union now as a pipe fitter and shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, then I go to his like graduation. <laughs> he's like, I just want to thank this guy. <laughs> no, he finally learns like, English and yeah, is like, like, I was doing so much better in Mexico. Yeah, he's a, he was a doctor <laughs> in Mexico. I hate this. Yeah, and I like, kidnap him. <laughs> and make him fucking wash dishes. And now, <laughs> he, now he uses a, a soldering iron. We're like, you're day. welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's like, dude. <laughs> The reverse traffic. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Oh, our next story in a classic case of life imitating art. Nicholas Cage did a he did a sit down interview. Yeah. With uh, I, I believe it was the New York Times magazine because yeah. I, I read this story. It was fucking yeah. insane. It's oh. He's been searching for the Holy Grail. Yeah. Now, not the metaphorical Holy Grail. No, the Grail. real one, the chalice. The, the actual chalice, the Holy Grail. <gasps> This makes me love him even more. And since we're talking about him, um, look, Rescue 16, the, the sequel to Range 15, is written. Uh, it involves Gene Vandenham, and it involves Gene Vandenham's father, who was played by Nicolas Cage. Yep. He's one of my favorite people on the planet. I enjoy his whole shit. This made me love him even more. D tell the audience here uh, on his quest for the Holy Grail what the level of shock was for this reporter. Um, look, man, <laughs> you can only imagine. Look, if you go into an interview with Nick Cage, you got to expect some weird shit yep. to happen. Yes, be frankly. ready because he—I don't know if you guys remember this—but he bought a dinosaur skull for like two hundred seventy-five thousand dollars at an auction. Yeah. Then they found out that it belonged to Mongolia. And he had to give it back. He had to give it back to the government. And yeah. it, his response to that was, yeah, then I had to give it back and I didn't get my money back. Dot, 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 that stank. Yeah. Like, <laughs> no wonder okay. you have to take every, any role that anybody offers this guy, he has to he take. He has to take Because it. he's the kind of guy that spends a quarter million dollars on a fucking dinosaur skull. Correct. Yeah. And he's also behind in taxes. So you're going to see Nicolas Cage in a lot of fucking crazy movies. Yeah. Uh, why not? with us in rescue 16 is, was is is my thing uh but i also miss this about actors um because this used to be old school hollywood brando used to do shit like this yeah um johnny depp does shit like this you know obviously he's out of obviously. that business now but uh yeah, i think he's in the leather bracelet business now yeah mm -hmm. yeah or wow. scarf i think it's a scarf scarf and business bracelet. very yeah. very he, big scarf he likes, business he likes accessories yeah um but <clears throat> I, I miss this about old school celebrities where you you're so famous that you think that you can acquire somehow the actual holy grail yeah i miss that about uh because brando was the same way We're buying the elephant man bones oh, yeah, yeah, and shit like yeah. that and michael, michael jackson, jackson did it from him yeah. bought so, from him look um, and then dicaprio i just read uh sold a dinosaur bone to Russell Crowe. Like, I love shit like that where it's it really like, bizarre i love it but the whole thing with cage is during this interview he was like uh, he actually referenced National Treasure when he was telling the story. He's like, yeah. yeah, you read one book and then it leads you to another book and another book. I'm like, holy shit, bro. Yeah. <laughs> that was not real. There's no secret message on the back of the Declaration of Independence. Yeah, I, I, look, I agree. Jesse, your favorite movies with Nick Cage. Moonstruck? Yeah. I lost my hand. I lost my bride. Johnny has his hand. Johnny has his bride. Classic. Yeah. Your favorite of all time. There's yep. actually a, a movie poster framed in our house of I love it so Moonstruck. Much. Why is why is Nicolas Cage not a daddy? When when because you go Kurt Russell, you go the rest of these guys. I don't understand. Nick Cage still looks great and he's kind of crazy and I think it's the crazy part. So I don't love uh, an eccentric crazy daddy. Do you Got think it. he? Looks I don't great? need it. I don't think he looks great. No, either, he looks, for his honest. age. I think he does. No, he um, looks like. Yeah, for his age, but as a dude, he doesn't look great. And daddies have to be willing to age gracefully, right? Okay. So you can't get a bunch of fucking work done and, like, try and stretch it and plug it up and all of that. Mm. So Kurt Russell, to my knowledge, I mean, it's probably gotten a couple injections or whatever, but to my knowledge, has not gotten any work done. Gotcha, yeah. And his hair looks real. Real and... Thick, thick and gorgeous yeah and salt and pepper whereas nick cage is uh he's got a couple strands left that he's fighting with yeah you don't yeah. get to be a daddy mm. unless you accept your daddiness right. which he still wants to be up here the only nick cage i see in my head is nick cage from con air 
Yes, ah. And he yes. looks like a total fucking dirtbag. <laughs> right. He right, looks, right, right. He, he just looks like just like terrible, like a meth head or something. I, th- I go to face off Nick Cage, though. Mm. Okay. Like, and I'm a big fan of, of face off Nick Cage. Uh, I am. And, and look, I've always wanted to work with him just for this shit. Imagine hanging out with this motherfucker on set and asking him stories about life and stuff. Like, yeah. You're going to go down an unbelievable rabbit hole with him on any subject yeah. and it's going to be amazing. He even named his kid uh after Superman. His kid's name is the L L Kal-El. That's it. That's his kid's name. Jesus Christ. Yes, you didn't know that? No, I didn't <laughs> know that. That's really fucking stupid. It's Kal-El Cage. Crazy oh. people like that make me uncomfortable. <laughs> oh. It's uncomfortable, it's right? Not, it's no? not uncomfortable. Okay. Cage is cage, and we got to let cage be cage. And sure. I'm, I, when I, as soon as I read this article, I was like, God damn it, man. I love him. Well, hopefully we can love get him. him. Hopefully we can get that movie done and have a minute. And hopefully be somebody, so hopefully we can put it on a, on a place like Shudder, which we've been talking about lately. Ah, we have at Shudder.com. They've got his new movie on there, by the way. Yeah. Mandy. Yep, um, I Andy's heard on that there. movie's awesome. Everybody is it? said that movie's awesome. Well, you, you can only watch Cage it there. Cage is still so. a fucking great actor. Yeah, no, he's great. He's always been a good actor. I heard it was really good. Yeah, surprisingly so, good. To our advertising agency, you're welcome for these these reads uh, in between our fake news, just like a oh, real boy. news channel. Uh, Shutter dot com is uh, s h u d d e r dot com. It's the Netflix of horror. Right. Uh, they're stock full of horror films, front to back. They do. They got the new Cage movie on there. Um, everybody loves that fucking movie too. Yeah, and you can use the code uh, Drink It Bros for and, and you get, get it a free, free month. Yeah, for thirty yeah. days. That's and that crazy. That way you can see if you like it or yeah. not. Uh, after that, it's only five ninety nine. That's it. Um, and, but they got everything on that motherfucker, and they got original content and everything else. Yep. Uh, we're trying to partner up with them to do janitors. Yeah, we're looking to. Yeah. Yeah. So we've uh, had some conversations back and forth. Make it happen, Shutter. Go to Shutter dot com today and uh, sign up for a free trial. Drinking Bros. Uh, gets you a free month so you can check it out. S H U D D E R dot com. And it's owned by AMC, by the way. Yep. Um, so they're, they're so fucking you know massive. You know it's top notch. They're massive. Uh, I want to talk about this huge, speaking of massive, Herculean parrot in New Zealand. Yeah, this is wild as fuck, man. Like, I, I like uh, thinking about stuff like this, but I would be terrified to see it. You know what I mean? <laughs> To explain, explain it to the audience. So what, what, how creepy sci- would that be? Sci- yeah. Scientists found evidence, and I, I didn't see the direct evidence listed in this particular article. I'm sure I could find it. Usually it's like an imprint of bones and like a uh, yeah, yeah. And, and, and like rock or some shit. Yeah, like some, that. some Fossil, sort of fossilized yeah. thing. Yeah. But anyways, uh, it looks like it, it lived about 19 million years ago. Yeah. And it was a three-foot-tall parrot. <laughs> That weighed 15 pounds, dude. Have you ever seen a bird like crack open a seed? Uh, uh, that thing just could, that beak, dude. It, but could, ima- it could grab you by the fucking head and just uh, pick you up great. and fly away. It's and great. have you seen a parrot tongue? Yeah, they're crazy as fuck. Very, like, super scary. Yeah. And the other thing, it's, it's three feet tall and it's, it, it talks to you. <laughs> So, I mean, uh, you'd be talking to. They have no evidence. A of that, five-year-old. Yeah. No, uh, they, we do. They, they said it, like we They do. said it probably couldn't. They said it could fly, but probably didn't because there would be no reason for right. it to because it wouldn't have any predators, right? Being mm-hmm. that size, and that uh, it could definitely talk, sing, and talk the same yeah, way. Yeah, it could. Yeah, it so, could. Can you imagine the voice on this goddamn thing? Can you imagine waking up in the morning and it's not chickens crowing or, no. or roost, whatever the fuck they do. It's not a little bird like. Hey, whistling. you fuck. Yeah. It's hey, like, you fuck. No, it's like <laughs> fucking Ving Rhames. Yeah, it would be like a deep, a deep voice. Like, voice. Oh, you think it's a deep voice? Oh, yeah. yeah. Three feet tall. 15 uh, pounds. I don't know, yeah. man. It would be a deep I'd voice. still go a high pitched voice on that. It, it, that would be worse. It would be shrieking at you. Yeah. yeah. That would be great, though, wouldn't it? No, It'd like, be like peacock sound. It would, yeah. sa- it would sound the same way as the velociraptor <laughs> and fucking, uh, what do you call it? Oh, God. Yeah. 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 It's taller it's than my five year old. Those is, velociraptors that were in uh, Jurassic Park, that's about the size of this thing would be. That'd be great, wouldn't it? A, no, dude. I think. Imagine birds, having to pet one of these things, mm-mm, man. Mm-mm. That, would, uh, that part, awesome. if it flew and you could put it on a, like a leash. Yeah. And having that go around the backyard, that'd be nice. Yeah. You that'd just, be real nice. That would be better than a hot air balloon. Like if you look up in the <laughs> sky and you look at things you want to see, so a, a three foot <laughs> parrot. Or a hot air balloon? Sign me up. I want to see a three-foot parrot. I, would, I wouldn't mind seeing it. I got I to 
I got to agree with you on that one. Let me ask you this, because when you when we were talking about this uh, before we, we went on air, um, a lot of animals, preserved animals, are being more and more of them are being found. Yeah. Right. And all over the world, mm -hmm. they found that forty thousand year old, perfectly preserved the mammoth, uh, yeah. horse. Oh yeah, horse. And uh, the, the, the calf, mammoth, like two years yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah and the mammoth. Um, all this shit. Is it because of global warming? Are they just digging further and they have better technology? What is it that they're uh, able to find this it's shit? It's more the technology. So you can do a like uh, a radio scan, basically, of of the Earth. And you can see where there's distortions in the density and shit like that. Got it. So then is, you know is, where is that to what dig. they're using? Yeah. To look for this shit? Yeah. Then you know where to dig, basically. So they'll find small stuff and they'll dig and usually find bigger stuff. Got it. Man, I want to find one of these perfectly preserved. Because then you could clone it. If you found the DNA to it, so that, that horse they yeah. found, or that calf or whatever, right? They pulled it, the blood was perfectly preserved, so they're pulling blood out of it, and they're going to try to recreate this animal. You know what someone should study. do is get all the DNA from the dinosaurs that we found, mm -hmm. and then clone them, and then make a big park that you could go to. Ooh. Ah, what would you call it? Who would guard it? <laughs> Chris Pratt. Yeah, and Gold Bloom. No, it'd be Bloom, dude. Pratt, Bloom, dog. Pratt for Matt. Bloom, dog. Yeah, we still want Chris uh, Pratt to play Matt in his book. Yep. Um, that's, that, that's out in like 12 days, by the way. Thank yep. you for my service. Uh, Is there it, any talk it, of it. Matt for Matt or no? Yes. Okay. Th there was a lot of Matt. So we posted on our Instagram, um, Matt for Matt. After the, because we did, a, he did, he was on Drinking Bros, what, last week or whatever it was? Yeah. And uh, a lot of people on there were like, I don't understand, Matt was awesome in Range 15, why can't he just play himself? I agree. The problem is, since all these fucking movies are financed by China, they want massive people around it. And let's face it, Chris Pratt over in China is yeah, huge the because of the sure. Jurassic Park and okay. Guardians of the Galaxy and all that shit. So if you're looking to make it faster with a bigger budget, Pratt's, uh, that's the easiest route to go. Uh, in my opinion, but I want one of these fucking things, and I hope we can find a parrot with blood in it this big, so we can clone it. If we can find back. one, yeah, I'll ride that bitch around. Yeah, that'd be a nice. Put a saddle on it. A nice backyard. What are pet. you fucking naysaying for? This whole goddamn show. James, what are you talking skeptic. about? I want to. Oh, are you gonna fucking come for me now? What is it? <laughs> Go. What have I done? I want. What have I done to you? In I this want show? an alien, and I want a fucking giant parrot, and I don't understand why I can't have those things. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It seems like you don't want us to have fun. Yeah, no, 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 no. And it's all real and it's all great and it's all going to happen. This is. is real. This is real. We could clone this one. This obviously, thing. it obviously is real because I have a picture of it in front of me. There's a movie, too, by the way, about uh, finding uh, blo blood oh. on the Shroud of Turin. <laughs> yep. And Nemo. cloning Jesus? Yes. And it's called um, uh, uh, The Power of Few. Oh, I thought it was Blade. Is that not what Christopher Blade Walken is? is in it? I uh, thought the movie Blade was about Jesus getting cloned. Is that the one with uh, Wesley Snipes? Yeah. Yeah, I guess I am confused about Blade 2 now. Yeah. I don't know. Blade 2 is no Blade the second as coming. well. I don't get into superhero shit. So, I, look, it's I'm the last superhero. I'm the last person to It's a vampire it's movie. It's vampire, it's not Yeah, but it's, it was based on a comic book, right? I don't know. Yeah. I, I don't get into shit like that, dude. I don't know. I'm not going to pretend that I bought comic books as a kid. Just in, to sound cool now. And, no, yeah, I'm, like I, it's, I'm not yeah, going to do it. You have to like uh, reverse nerd yourself. Yeah, like, oh, pretend I was a huge that you were a nerd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, I wasn't. I was smoking weed and jacking off in high school. And yeah. every actor who, who Sorry, is in bro. these uh, comic book movies now. It's like, oh, yeah, I totally grew up. With that. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Chris Pratt, you grew up hunting. Yeah. Yeah. I, I know you. I've seen pictures of you hunting. That's it. Stop you, lying. You didn't me. read comic books. No. None of these people. And they all have to fake an interest <laughs> now. Again, nothing was more uh, like depressing than watching Jake Gyllenhaal on the red carpet for Spider-Man knowing that he fucked a dude and got nominated for an Oscar, and now he's got to go be a villain in Spider-Man in some green fucking suit. Oof. Sorry, Jakes. And I love him, too. Uh, next up, the White House is drafting an executive order to tackle Silicon Valley's anti-conservative bias. Here's the thing. This has been going on for a very, very long time. We yeah. all know it because we've been shadow banned. We've had mm -hmm. videos blocked. We had uh, Graham Allen on yesterday. Every time we have Graham Allen on, on YouTube, they demonetize the video yep. um, for no reason. And uh, I don't know how they're going to stop this. Um, look, I've been talking about this for six months. A long time. On the show about how at some point there's going to be a precipice where because these outlets are so ubiquitous in public now, mm -hmm. like they shaped a public narrative, that they have a responsibility to be neutral on these, on these issues. 
guns, politics, all this shit. Yes. Like it's no longer this thing of like our company, we can do what we want. Yeah, like it's telecommunications gone. is not like that. Yeah. You can't fucking tell the Trump campaign that they can't use AT and T to fucking do their shit. You yeah. can't do that. You would go you would get fined for that. Right? And right. now Facebook and Google, which owns YouTube, that's gonna be the same thing. I don't know what they can do with an executive order though. Um the people that Politico spoke to, which is where this article came from, would not say anything about what the content of the executive order is. They talked to three or four different people. And look, if you go to that many sources in Washington, D.C., and nobody will say what's going on, mm-hmm. that's unusual. Usually some asshole wants to buy like some FaceTime yeah. or something with that information, or they just think they're cool because they have it, so they want to share it. They're, they're being super tight-lipped about this, so I don't know what's going to happen. You want a whistle blow? Yeah, I don't either. And, uh, you know, you take y- yesterday's episode. Um, a few times a year, we do a series of episodes mm-hmm. on Drinking Bros. Uh, yesterday was one of those with Graham Allen, and we had a thoughtful gun debate, and yep. it was great. Um, we got a ton of messages. We, we were up on fa- – uh, we do a video show, subscribe on YouTube, mm-hmm. Drinking Bros podcast. Um, you can watch all, every, almost every single show. Every, the, the time on before, boom nuked for monetization Mm -hmm. uh this one was up less than five minutes and youtube nuked it for monetization there's no way they listen to the episode no uh, at all and uh we were we just requested a review of it to get a reason of why graham allen's videos but they're not going to give us a reason Mm -mm. no they're not so uh, that's my point what is what is the government going to do to help stop that? I don't know yet, but we're not ta- again. We're not talking about uh, like these the Russian fake news bots, like RT and that stuff from the last election. We're not talking about that. We're not talking about Alex Jones even, who's you know questionable sometimes. Sure, he, exactly. just, he just makes shit up. Yeah, which is I mean I think it's funny, but, but he's an entertainer, not yeah, a yeah. real no. news source. We're talking about our show, which we don't like. It's not that crazy. We're talking about Omar, Crispy Avia, yeah. who just posted a picture with Donald Jr. and it got taken down just because the motherfucker was in the picture. Yeah. Like, that's crazy. That's the kind of shit we're talking about. We're talking about Mitch McConnell's Twitter account getting shut down yesterday because he posted a video of liberal protesters yelling profanity at his house while he's home dealing with an injury. I did not know yeah. that. So he you posted, can't show that? He reposted the video from like his ring camera or some shit like that of uh-huh. people shouting, saying to like burn him alive and shit like that like no shit the leader of blm there what's her name chanel helm yeah yeah, she yelled just stabbed the motherfucker in the heart yes which is according to bradenburg v ohio which determined uh what inciting violence is this is a supreme court case that is exactly what it is she she should be in jail she should be in jail today yeah Yeah, because she won't get arrested for that yeah she won't be yelling fire in a crowded theater yeah she won't be because She's with BLM, basically. Right. Uh, which, you know, I don't think BLM is a terrorist organization. I just think they're fucking a little rowdy. They're not as bad as Antifa, in my opinion, just yeah, based yeah, on yeah. what's going on. But um, this is nonsense. It's, like, cra- it's crazy. And it, I think, you know, the only thing you can do is try to subpoena everything, right? From Google emails, text messages, all that other shit. Does That's the government the real problem. have the power to do that, though? Yes, they the do. Question. So they, they do. don't. I don't think there's a. They they can't issue an executive order that just says, "Hey, you got to be fair now." I mean, they can do it in a way. So the way they did it with uh, universities when they started kicking all the conservative speakers off campus mm-hmm. was, <clears throat> they said, "You're either going to promote fairness and give equal time to both sides or the middle or whomever, or we're going to pull all federal funding from you." which is something the executive branch can absolutely do. They have complete jurisdiction over how certain monies get doled out like that. And he can do it if he, if he, if he wakes up tomorrow and just feels like doing it, he can do it. That's what, the exe- that's what executive power. The, the other thing is, <clears throat> is that since he does control the executive budget, the executive branch includes the FBI and the Federal Trade Commission and all this other stuff, right? So if you're moving money around or you're doing stuff, and you're getting investigated for it, then he can affect how much money and resource gets put into that. And Facebook and Google and a couple of other companies are already about to get hit with an antitrust investigation, mm-hmm. like a big one. Probably yeah. the biggest thing that we've ever seen in the United States. Yes. Um, and he's definitely going to fucking do it now. Yeah, I look, I'd just be curious to see, because right now, you know, it, it's happening to us, it's happening to our, a lot of our friends. Yeah. I'd be curious to see how real it is because sometimes I feel paranoid where I'm like, man, am I being paranoid about this? Or like, why are certain videos not going to certain outlets and things like that? 
And I'm like, ah, maybe it's just paranoia. Uh, but no, I, th I, I believe that there is a shadow ban. I believe they are getting rid of conservatives, especially right before the election. Yeah. And to that point, I don't know if it necessarily helps the left like they think it does. No, I mean, it's the same. Th so whenever fucking Trump was on the warpath about fake news, the left wanted to say, oh, he's just fucking talking shit. He's just going to call everything fake news. Then they start fakely accusing people of hate crimes. There's been like 26 of those mm -hmm. in the last year and a half. Yeah. And it's like, there you go, motherfucker, reporting stupid bullshit. When Dan Rather talked all that shit about George W. Bush's fucking military record and he was completely wrong about it, right. he fucking lost his job for it, man. That's how it goes. Yes. That, that shit never fucking works out for you. Yes, uh, same with Brian Williams, remember? Oh, I was man. there. I was there. It didn't hurt Hillary, though, at all. No, it did not. She lied but about it, being under sniper fire, it, for it, fuck's sake. But here's the thing. It, it hurt her when she ran in the election. You know, maybe I just think she's an, an unlikable. Human yeah, being. same. But, all, you know, all of that adds up, obviously. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, the, the other part about it is I feel that all this fake news shit started happening right around that election time is where it got really, really big. Yeah. Right. And when you lie to the public as a media outlet over and over and over and over again, you're going to get it wrong because it, it lures people into a, a false sense of reality of like, oh, man, either shit's as bad as it is or people dislike Trump as much as you, you, yeah. you say they, they do. Yep. Then you go to the voting box and it's like, whoopsie, got it wrong. Yeah. Uh, sorry about it. Look, I don't have a problem with uh, news entertainment agencies taking sides. I don't have a problem with that. I mean, I think it's kind of stupid, honestly, for our society that it happens. But remember, Walter Cronkite took a pretty hard position on Vietnam. So it's not like this shit just started 10 years ago. Right. Uh, Kronk. Yeah. Like he was, a lot of people credit him more than anything else for getting, P, getting the U.S. out of Vietnam. Like honestly, just because he took such a hard line on, on the news every single night. Yeah. Uh, the, the, other, the other one was, uh, if you go back and look at footage of CNN when uh, Clinton oh, yeah. was accused. They of, fucking lit his ass up. Every day. Yep. Every day. They would never do that now, but then no. they did. Um, no. So eh, it's crazy. That's crazy. We'll see uh, what happens with this whole thing. Yeah. Get back. Let's get back to some more important news. Yeah, like Can a I have wide some on. Of your water. No, you can't, Jesse. Because we're talking about a wide on here. <laughs> I don't even understand. This is the first time I've heard this phrase. So Jesse hates the phrase "lady boner." Lady boner. I'm yeah. not a big fan of it either. I'm not either. Yeah. I think anytime a gal references her genitalia as being like a dick, or yeah. suck Jenny. my dick, or Jenny, yeah. yeah, suck my dick, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't like it. I'm anyway, not, go ahead. Fan of so it. I was I was listening to I was watching American Dad, funny show. Yeah, and it got mentioned on there. I'm like, what the fuck does that mean? Because yeah. I'd never heard it before. I've never heard uh, it either. And then I I googled the word, and I there's a fucking video of uh, Many Driver on what's his nuts show. What's oh, a little tiny name? driver on what's uh Graham, what's happened. Graham what, Allen. What's Graham, happening no, live? Graham Norton. Ah, uh, yeah. No, but, it's Andy Andy Cohen. Andy Cohen, yeah. That's it. I don't know the, the difference between watch any of those what happens majors. live. Yeah. Uh, anyways, um, yeah, she said, like he said, lady boner, and then she corrected him and said wide on, wide like wide, yeah, and then on, yeah, like hard on. Um, so what does that mean, and why does that phrase mean? An, an erect vagina or whatever you want to call it. I don't understand. Does the Jesse take it away? Does the vagina open up when you get excited? Does yes. it get wider? It does. Yes. Does it really? So it lubricates and it gets looser so that whoever is going to enter it. Yeah. Is you're already ready to go. Yeah. So if you feel a gal that's uh dry and real, real tight, you need to do some more work. <laughs> you know what I mean? Dan, this is the what? first time I've seen Dan speechless uh, to I the just, point of you. He's you, just you listening. I don't know. point into camera. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> uh, right or wrong? No, you're right. I don't, I don't know if that's physiologically correct, but uh, you would know bef before I would, yes. obviously. Yeah. It is. Yeah. That's, I think that's true. If a woman is full on aroused and not just... <clears throat> faking to just do what they got to do. Yeah. Then they are very lubricated and very wide. That's good feedback they, though. Wider. Wider. That's, yeah. that's good feedback. I like that. Yeah. A wide. Because on. I know I look, <laughs> I've I, never heard that before, but it makes sense. If you're hard when you're aroused and a woman widens when they, can are. I get you a shirt yeah. that just says wide dash on and you wear it every day for the rest of your life <laughs> <laughs> to preschool, <laughs> kindergarten <laughs> will do. Yeah. 
Yeah. Hey. Don't sh- threaten me with a good time. Yeah, give me a white on. <laughs> Just that shirt, you wear that around every time, and it's like, man. I need to make a drink, I guess, called the wide on. I'm a big fan of that term, though. I don't, I, I, I'm, I'm with you. I don't it like doesn't, lady boner. It doesn't sound as gross or yeah. crass as lady boner. Right. Or, or when people like uh, would say moist. Moist. A lot of people have like a visceral reaction to the word moist. And yes. I, like No word affects me like that. But I understand it. That's kind of a weird word. It's yeah. a weird word, but you're a fucking idiot if a, if a word is going to affect you. <laughs> Viscerally, right? That's I, not true. No, okay. I, yeah, the word pussy. I, ask her to say I the word pussy. I can't say it, say it but yeah. it's say not it. like... Say it. No, she can't say it. I say it weird. Go ahead, because you don't like the word. Pussy. Yeah. Why do you say it like too I, much How else am I supposed to say P. it? Pussy. 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 Yeah. The, Pussy. That's too much. Say it eight how, more what's times. A, what's a good way to say it? The if you're last, not a guy, if you're not a guy, pussy. what's a good way to say it? The pussy. last three times you said it was fine. Oh, pussy. Pussy. No. That's uh, That's too. Right? Too. It's uh, uh, too much. Can you just show say, me? How do I? Just say wide on. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> But there is certain words that everybody can't say. Yeah. Uh, moist is one of my, I'm not a big fan of that either. Not a big fan, but you don't have like a visceral rela- reaction. To it, right? it depends oh, on who's don't. It. Oh, I can't. It's, it depends on who's saying it. I saw a really good meme on uh, pb.fcks pogue boot fucks. It's a meme page, military meme page. Okay. And it said. Uh, it That's was, a long phrase. Pb.fcks. Okay. I think FCKS. Yeah, I think that's it. Uh, that's what? a lot of Instagram. letters, Dan. No, okay. it's not. That's like five letters. <laughs> there is, that is so, after two, it was a lot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I go uh, two letters top. There was this really funny meme they posted. I don't know where it originated from, but it was, uh, it was like what you hear every time you hear there was a mass shooter. And it's a picture of uh, Betty White. Oh, really? So say it in your head and think about what that means. Okay. So everybody at home do the same thing right now. What? Yeah. Repeat it one more time for the audience. Betty White. Like, I bet he's white. Ah. Super. I love memes like that to take a moment. Yeah. I like it when they take a minute. Because there is this theory. It's a thinker. There, yeah. <laughs> but it's just a picture of an old lady. I wonder how many people. That is. A th- I would not have gotten that because we, we know Say my pussy. brain is. Pussy. <laughs> oh, yeah. it's, way, it's way too butch. Lesbian butch. I, I, can't, I can't say it without it sounding butch. Pussy. Pussy. Oh, <laughs> uh, the Betty White one. I wonder how many I people like were that. listening at uh, home yeah, exactly. and, they, like, and they pause and they're like, man, I don't get it. it and, until you broke it down slowly. It's that, a little subtle, yeah. Yeah, that went over my head. But I, those are my favorite ones. Yeah. Those are my favorites. <laughs> Betty White. Betty yes. White. It's, and that's not true. Somebody posted. I know. Uh, I never think that they of, are. Of by all the way. mass that, shooters, it's, that depends on how you uh, define mass shooter. So it technically is four more people get injured by the weapon. Okay. Yeah. Which is like the vast majority of them are in like actual crime scenarios, like inner cities and shit okay. like that. It's not some dumb dumb walking into a mall and blasting people. Gotcha. Got it. Gotcha. Uh, I think that's been like seventeen out of the two hundred fifty that the left likes to cite. All right. By the way, at any rate, we're not trying to get into a political discussion. No, here. I just think that meme was super funny. It is funny. It is funny. It uh, is funny. Next up, we got America's top five party schools. These are unbelievable. I Released don't any of these. by the Princeton <laughs> Review is Board. No way. I look every year they come out with this. Yeah. Every single year, and it's mm-hmm. it's usually in August because all the kids are getting ready to go to school and yeah. all that shit, and it's uh, it's a big deal. You want to see your school on there. Uh, we're gonna go from five down to one here, counting down. Number five, mm-hmm. Tulane. Uh, eh, I've I, never partied there, so I don't know. I I haven't. It's close to New Orleans, yeah. So I'm imagining, uh, and the drinking age is 18 in in uh, uh, Louisiana. So I'm imagining that's that's got something to do with it. I haven't partied there, so I'll, I'll give it a pass. Uh, West Virginia. That one for sure four. should be on there. Yes, man. They go I, off in West Virginia. Fuck it. They don't give a fuck. The girls dip there. Um, they'll take it. I saw a girl at a party walk up to a dude, take the dip out of his mouth and put it in hers. And I was like, yeah. Jesus Christ. And they have like these giant, they have yeah. these giant field parties there too, right? That's their thing. Yeah, f- uh, field parties. And it's, it is old school white trash golden grain parties where you know, you're just dumping it. 
the, what they'll do is they'll take a, a just your, your simple what, how many gallons is that trash can out in our lobby here? Thirty two gallons. Thirty two gallons. So they'll put that down. <laughs> Not fifteen. <laughs> Not fifteen. Yeah, like the the 50. original bags you bought was, for it. I thought it was fifty. Uh, so the thirty two <laughs> gallons, they'll put the trash bag inside it. Yeah. And then just dump liquor in that. As long as it's, it's a clean bag, mm. they'll dump liquor in that, and then you just scoop your cup in. That's out of gross. that yeah girls no, and guys at west virginia and that's, that's it gross fun. as long as it's not like a scented it's a bunch bag. of people dipping yeah but i mean it's yeah, booze. a lot of hands booze, in there booze, booze is fine. kills all the germs yeah. yeah i think so i don't know yeah so west west virginia goes off i'll give yeah. them that but they also don't have a lot to do there and that's got a, a big there's a, that's there's, a big reason there's got to be a big uh hillbilly heroin situation up there too like yeah. pills and shit yeah yeah and all right. those Hollers. small towns in all those small towns, especially in the Appalachian area, there's nothing but fucking pills. No. Everywhere. Pills and, uh, and golden grain. Moonshine. Old school moonshine yeah. they have there as like well. Like the wild and wonderful whites of West Virginia. Have you ever seen that? No. Go watch. The, it's called the wild and wonderful, <laughs> wonderful whites, whites of West Virginia. Whites? As it's, in white people? No, it's the white family. Okay. Uh, Actually, great. Baker was just hanging out with the grandfather. Oh, I did too. That I, guy. I, yes. Uh, Johnny Knoxville. Did a thing about yeah, this, yeah, guys. Yeah. Yes. Holy. Go watch that fucked. documentary. It is fucked. Gnarly. Like, yeah. they're all on government. They're all on welfare. They're all on pills. I mean, it's... I'm not talking about... Know. When I say all, I don't mean, like, there's four adults. I mean, like, the children. Everyone. Oh Everyone. God, I love it. Yeah. It's, so it's, it's, it's like, if you like reality television, The Bachelor's over now, go watch this shit. There's... By the way, there's... You'll feel better it. about yourself. There's towns in West Virginia where it's, it's something like... Uh, 60 or 70 percent are all living off the government dime yeah. on purpose just so because they don't have to pay they're living in trailers and yeah, shit. these people do it on purpose o- on purpose for yeah. sure yeah yeah and, and all they do is use the money to buy pills and all that other shit and you're just like fuck man it is insane the richest people in town are the lawyers who have to file those you know injury lawsuits yeah, yeah. or you know whatever yeah. they are it's with Jeez. with the government oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 and then 60 minutes did a special so yeah, yeah west virginia 100 percent number and three. what's the uh pussy like over no, there <laughs> uh here's the pussy Where's situation that? Is that better? Where, where'd you put that face hold that face back up. Uh, yeah hold the, hold the hold the dan face up and say the word pussy again what's that pussy like <laughs> <laughs> send me a pic send me a pic of that pussy there oh yeah here's what the pussy is like in west virginia That's right it's all related <laughs> yeah there's a good shot of it um Good look. You got to catch it at nineteen because after that they've all got kids. Yeah. So you got to find you gotta find somebody at nineteen. One, two. The calf muscles on every chick in West Virginia are insane. Absolute insanity. Everywhere you go there, you feel like you're walking uphill. Mm. So the the legs and the thighs and ass, like the the calves, thighs and ass there. Yeah. Fantastic. Now the rest of it, g- good luck because the inbreeding and all all the other shit. Yeah, yeah. But leg wise, ass down, great, great, absolutely fantastic. But uh, they will out party you. They fucking drink hardcore liquor and they will dip in front of you and they don't give a baker's fuck. So that's my that's my, my warning to you. Well, there. the next one, that one makes sense. I've I've heard about West Virginia. Sure. Yeah. Uh, University of Delaware. I don't get that. It's one. Number three, huh? I mean, it's the first country or the first state. So yeah. That's fine. Yeah. Got it. But that's the last time they were first in anything party like your first is like that their th- it's th- they, have the, they have the most corporations of any state in the union i think because they have like free filing and they don't there's certain tax reasons that most people have corporations llc's and shit mm-hmm. in delaware i've never heard of them being a big party school or town or state or any of that shit. ever yeah well i've never heard that they are now um i look i, I i've never been i'd like to go number three that's a that's a hefty ranking for that so yeah. I don't know, man. Uh, the the jury's out on that. If you if you've partied at University of Delaware, let us know. Let yeah. us know how it or is. Or invite us to a party. We'll yeah, come up shit, there we'll go up there. Yeah, we'll do a live show. I feel like sure. all, these nerds at Princeton are they really qualified to be saying what the best party exactly. school is? Exactly. No. Like, get the fuck out of here. No. We'll skip number two. Well, no. So never- <laughs> we'll, we'll go number two. Number two is University of Alabama. Roll Tide. Um, I understand it. Yes, they go hard. Mm. Women are out of control. Hot there. Uh, it is a di- di- it's it's very southern. Um, their fraternity sorority sitch there. It, they've got an old row and a new row, and it stands for old money and new money. So like, you know, like the families you you have to get into certain mm-hmm. uh, 
fraternities and shit like that because of your family and all that other stuff. And then, but it also separates you, the party side, because you know that they're old money or new money and you're just, they kind of shit on each other for yeah. it. It's a different partying experience there, but it is fun. And they have a lot of crawdaddy parties. You know, not into that. I don't, like, I, don't, I don't like have. I don't like having dirty hands. Yeah, <laughs> like, like I really don't. Yeah, like dirty hands while you're trying to like hang out, have a no. drink, talk I, to people. I, that's my thing. So there's a word that triggers me, but having dirty hands, I don't like it. <laughs> I'm serious. It's weird. Having dirty hands, I don't. Having like dirty it. hands, I don't. I like don't it. like it. <laughs> that's a shirt right there. Yep. <laughs> having dirty hands, I, I don't, don't like it. it. Oh, Dan. Oh, Dan. Yep. And it just it just says Dan. So look, I. <laughs> I understand why Alabama's in this. I don't know about number two, but yeah. uh, uh, number one here is is not true whatsoever. No, this is madness. Syracuse, Syracuse University, like ridiculous. upstate New York. Like if you're no. gonna go upstate New York, go to Buffalo. I would believe that. Yeah, exactly. Because yeah. they fucking go hard up there. Yeah, the, the Buffalo bills, is like a midwestern do, yeah. town and yeah. a fucking in the middle of upstate New York. But Syracuse, where, it, where are you from? It's too cold to party. Huh? There. Where are you from in New York originally? She's mm-hmm. not. Where were you conceived? Oh, I was conceived on the. Way. On the way. On the way, yeah. yeah. On where, where, are your, where are your parents from? They're from uh, Queen. My mom's from Queens. Mm. My dad's from Jersey. Yeah. Mm. She represents Why? Queens, but she was raised out in Brooklyn. So mm. uh, nailed no. it. <laughs> boom, no. boom, nailed it. You're now, the, here's, here's, the, here's why Syracuse can't be number one and shouldn't be number one. It's too fucking cold. So therefore, the parties aren't out of control. The women aren't dressed in skimpy. Number one with a bullet on this list should be Arizona State. I don't understand why Arizona State's not on here. Permanently. Number one. Uh, and you're talking to somebody who went to the largest school in the nation, and I'm telling you, Arizona State should be number one. You know who else should be on this list is University of Texas. Fucking A, do yeah, they rage down yeah, there? Yeah, fuck. And it is great. The whole University town of is Texas like... at Austin is great. Yeah. Um, you have Sixth Street, Game Day, all that shit. Like, it's, it's the best. Yeah. It's the fucking... Those, those, are, those are top twosies for me. Because mm-hmm. we've been to... Dan, uh, look... You and I have traveled a lot of places, but before that, I've traveled a lot of places for you know all these movies and all this other yeah. bullshit. Ole Miss should definitely be on this list. Yeah, look, Ole Miss dude, has got the hottest I girls. I think in there's the a case to be made for a lot of different. Uh, there's a case schools, to be made. Like, I don't know what's is. going on with the rest of this list, though. I'm looking down at like number yeah. six is UC Santa Barbara, maybe, but it's kind of it's kind of boring. It's small. There. It's a small yeah. school. Uh, Colgate, Wake Forest, Wake Forest. They is can party good. in Santa Barbara. Colgate is in Hamilton, New York. It's it, and it's an Ivy League school. Yeah, like, there's no, no way. Buck, no. Bucknell University of Rhode Island. Get no, the fuck out of Bucknell here. is another fucking Ivy. No, that that shouldn't U- be on Union there. College, which is also upstate New York, and then University Union College has two thousand two hundred people that go there. Yeah, fuck off with that shit. My yeah. high school was thirty five hundred. Yeah, don't tell me you party with two thousand two hundred. Number thirteen is uh, Wisconsin Madison. I agree with that. Great. Mm, yes. yes. Now that's now that should be a top ten school. Those fucking people, that is the one university that parties through the cold better than anyone else, and they go hard all year round. I understand University of Wisconsin-Madison, for yeah. sure. Uh, Vermont's, never heard of it. Um, university of Florida, <laughs> you bet. Just Vermont in general? Yeah, I, you think of, never of Ben of and Jerry's, that's about it. Like yeah, sure. We're good on the rest of Vermont at that point. Uh, or going skiing. Mm. Uh, university of Florida is at 16. Yes, that deserves to be there. Um, Florida State's no, they went dry, dude. Yeah. They don't, and they lost the Greek system. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Eighteen. There's no way. Uh, University of Dayton, eight thousand six hundred. Come on, man, that's too small. No, they don't fucking party. And rounding out their top twenty was UConn, University of Connecticut. I have partied there, and I can say, fucking absolutely not. Yeah, uh, it's, it's not that fun of a time. I feel like maybe because there were a bunch of quote unquote sponsored uh, ones in this list. Yeah. I don't know if that played any role in this, but look, if you can't trust an Ivy League school to tell you as a, co- as a high school student where the best place to party is, then the only place to go for that information is here. It is. So stop listening to these assholes. <laughs> We're going to start throwing college parties. Yes. Yeah. Like, we'll, we'll let you know where, where it's good to go. LSU, we had a blast at. LSU was great, there. yeah. Uh, there, there's a lot of them, not, not these. Fuck Penn, off. Penn State was just okay. It's more of an older crowd at Penn State. It is, and, and I think it, because you're younger, partying too far away from campus. Yeah, and the younger people were afraid to show up because they get touched. Yeah, well, so. look, they clean that up. <laughs> <laughs> they clean that up. It's uh, all done. Solved it. Last but not least, Barcelona <laughs> confirms women can swim topless in city pools. Finally. Yeah, it, it's look, it's like the the suffrage movement. We waited so long for this to finally happen. Yeah. 
women equal to men, I think this, the next step they need to do is to make this legal on Facebook. You can show a man's nipples, Correct. but not a woman's. Yes. I want to see girl nipples. It's legal on Twitter. Yeah, well, you can show people jamming stuff up their butt on Twitter. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> Jesse, if you, could, if, if you could swim topless anywhere you wanted in the United States, is that something you would want to do? No, and I'll tell you the people that are going to do it are not the ones you want to be doing it. And it's just yeah. like the nude beaches. You go like, yeah, yeah, buddy. And yep. you walk out there and it's like, uh, I don't, I don't look, I can see naked people anytime I want. It's not about that. It's about fucking freedom, freedom. <laughs> That's cool. I don't really want to do it, but I'm sure that there are people that do. Uh, you're and right. It's probably my, you know, so the first nude beach I went to, it was all disgusting people that I was like, and old oh yeah, just sucks. older people that are more just that's comfortable to them. Yep. Yeah, but that's the like point I'm making. Not. I want that. I want to make that comfortable oh, for younger okay. people, and it's okay. not going to happen unless <laughs> I'm we start. Sure, you to, do. No, I mean it's because it's stupid. Like I'm tired of all this puritanical nonsense going on. Like seeing a woman's tits is like going to ruin some kid's life. Yeah, you know, like, I look. Off, I'd man. love to hang my dong out on a daily basis. Yeah. Um, just because, it, look, in, in, if you're in this type of heat that we're in right now, yeah. Boom! Let's yeah. expose it. And you know, get a little other, tan on it. The other thing is sun, sunlight on it. The other a little vitamin is, D. Go ooh, ahead. A little. Well, you could rub that on there. Uh, so, and I do on a daily basis. <laughs> and I do. <laughs> <laughs> um, Before I lay out. I I've read once that women wearing bras less, particularly early, and their uh, when they start growing tits, yeah, makes the muscle at the top of the pec stronger and makes their tits less likely to sag as they get older. Is There's no way that's true. Why not? That doesn't make any sense. Gravity, Dan. No, it's not. No, but it muscle. doesn't. Science and gravity. No. Muscle. No. Yeah, but more, you don't. No, no, no. More connective tissue. This is what I read. More connective tissue builds at the top of the breast. It sounds from like, the pectoral Dan, you muscle. want girls to stop wearing bras at a young age, and that's creepy. No, no, that's no. It's really I'm creepy. Just, I'm quoting a fucking paper <laughs> that I read. Fuck sure this. you are. The yeah. paper was written by Dan Holloway. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, his college um, thesis. There's just no way <laughs> that that's true unless they're heavy enough Hang on, let me, I'm look to build the muscle. You Otherwise, need a real heavy The tit. muscle is relaxed or it's not. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. If you're lifting something physically with your arm, chest, whatever, yeah. it will build it. Yeah. But there's no way that just you're hanging boobs. Okay, stand by. No. I'm gonna, nope. Wait. Uh, and there's oh, all sweet. kinds of theories on this, Dan. You can throw this out. It'll just be one theory because <laughs> then they're like, you need to wear a sports bra at night. You have to wear. I heard that. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Like, and I've heard that there's too. There's all different. But F go ahead. 15 please. year study by the University of. Uh, by Dan. By Bez Dan. Bezencon, France. University of Bezencon, France uh, says that um, medically, physiologically, and anatomically. Anatomically, breasts gain no benefit from being denied gravity. On the contrary, they get saggier with a bra. So it weakens the muscle. It weakens the connective tissue. No. I've never even heard of this school, and they're not on the party list, so they don't really <laughs> fucking count yeah. me. What, what do they know about titties, What are you even yeah. talking yeah. about, dude? Man, you don't know about it titties. It doesn't make any sense. It, it doesn't be, make any sense. Yeah, it should be somebody, an expert like myself. So if <laughs> I... And also, father time, mo grandmother time, whatever, is going to get you. Yeah, it'll always get you. It'll always get you. Same with There's dudes, too, There's literally nothing you and can your do. your ball sack. It's going to get longer. So this, mm -hmm. uh, this university was established in the 15th century. It's older than either one of you. You two fucking losers. Ah, uh, means nothing. One of us, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what? Dan. We're the same, same age. age. Yeah. 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 We're the same age. Same who's, age. Who's the we in that statement? Uh, me and Jesse. No, you're he decades. Likes, you're he, decades. Likes, decades. he likes to be like, we're a couple summers apart. <laughs> we're like Shut two, the fuck uh, up. I think I'm like two summers older yeah, than just you. A, yeah, just um, a couple yeah. summers. Uh huh. Dan's yeah. older than all of us, so no, it doesn't really matter. I'm, not, I'm, not, no. I'm, I'm less older. Grandpa Dan. He's uh, less older. Our children, <laughs> Wait a minute. For, for the smarter. people at home, yeah, they, they, our children call him Grandpa Dan, so... <laughs> Uh, whenever Dan comes over to the house, it's, hey, Grandpa Dan's here. Grandpa Dan. Yeah. It's because Aww. of the uh, walker, I think, that I've been using. It yep. is, yeah. And by the way, that, that tennis ball, is, uh, it's at my house that you're mm. missing from the yeah. bottom of it. It's still uh, cutting, cutting half over those wheels. Uh, should we get to this? There is, there is one more. Uh, Jeff Yang. Yeah. Yang. 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 Last, so last, this this last one, I, fucker. I, I missed it. Uh, so he proposed a solution to the gun problem. If you want a gun... You have to enlist in the military reserves for the duration of your gun ownership. Yeah. Yeah, he's, it's kind of tongue-in-cheek, I think. Like it's, he, he used the phrase, a modest proposal, for those of you that don't know, that didn't go to high school, uh, which is you two at least. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, a modest proposal was a, a letter written by uh, uh, Jonathan Swift, the guy that wrote Gulliver's Travels. Mm -hmm. 
during the p- potato famine and his he said here's a modest proposal that can fix all this you have one kid and then each subsequent kid you eat and that, ah. way, that way you don't need the potatoes. So yeah. it's obviously satire. Sure. Uh, I don't know what this guy's deal is because he's totally anti-gun all the time. And he's always making stupid fucking bullshit points. He thinks he's really clever with this. Mm-hmm. Uh, I just think, uh, look, Yang. Uh, oh, oh, man, I want to punch this guy in his face so fucking bad. <laughs> well, you look can. Yang. You can. Look, <laughs> Yang. Uh, <laughs> he's, he's playing on the argument that the Second Amendment says that the point of it or part of the Second Amendment is about a well, quote-unquote well-regulated militia. Mm-hmm. The point of that was a state militia, first of all, not a federal one. So you want to fucking require federal service for a constitutional right. No, that's not how it works, dumb dumb. Ah, look, uh, Yang. Yang, everybody's trying to come up with stupid shit these days, and uh, it's all a bunch of fucking white noise, yeah, in my opinion. It, it is. So this is. I a, don't know if he was being serious or not. I don't care. I mean, this is a super serious issue. And it if is, you're yes. going to contribute to the public discourse on it, maybe get your fucking foot out of your own mouth there, guy. Yeah. Uh, I mean, this is so stupid. Um, I hate these people. That they think they're fucking the clever. Asians, yeah. <laughs> no, wait, which one? Okay. Which? They think they're clever. By they, they I mean do. I mean fucking liberal satirists. Oh, like, sure. oh, I'm fucking tell them to do a little send up here and make everybody look stupid. No, you look stupid, dum dum. <laughs> <laughs> and I want everybody to go find this guy on Twitter. Jeff Yang is his name. He's a CNN writer and just light his ass up. Uh, is the CNN writer? Yeah, he's God. fucking completely useless. The worst. The um, absolute worst. Yang. Yeah. Yang. <laughs> you know who I would else say? I hate uh, the cartoons in the New Yorker. Random thought, yeah. but I just always it's, have. It's nonsense. Never laughed at one single one of them. Um, by the way, DC versus Heller, a lot of you guys know about that. Oh, yeah. Made that, it made gun ownership an individual right, not a state right, not a federal right, an individual right. Yeah. So, fuck off. Fuck off, uh, Yang. And then it was, uh, you know, upheld in McDonald v. Chicago two years later. You bet it was. Uh, so, this is my get fucked of the week. Yeah. Yang, get fucked. Get fucked. Uh, get fucked, Yang. And if you guys want to go talk shit to him and send me screenshots of it, that'll be super funny. Go to Jeff Yang's Twitter. Um, yeah. I'm sure it's a, a banger of a place to spend a Saturday night. <laughs> uh, Yang. Yang. Look, we're, we're glad you're spending your Thursday night with us. This is the fake news. Thank you, D'Anthony, D'Anthony Holloway, uh, Miss Jesse Weisman. Uh, I'm Ross Patterson. Get fucked, Jeff Yang.